Welcome back, everyone. It's Harris. He's alive. It's good that you dropped by. There's some disagreements in the council, which we have, which have to be cleared up right now. Therefore, I don't have much time to talk to you. What do you know about? I'm straight up gonna ask him. Assassination. What do you mean? We have very important information for you. Good. Then tell me. Good. Let me tell you. Where should I begin? We've talked with a lot of people in the city. Of course, we can't confirm the reliability of this information. We have, but nevertheless, you must know that there are plans to murder you. We first learned of, of this from Peron. Since then, we have confirmed, confirmed the information. Even if it turned out to be a bad joke, there's still, then it is still probably better to have warned you once. Once too often than once too few. I cannot believe it. Naturally, I would like to thank you for giving me this information. I've already heard about it from Perrin, but since I know Perrin, I didn't take him too seriously, which might have been a mistake. In any case, I'll be careful now, and I'll also find somewhere else to stay. I am thankful for your information. If it turns out that you, that there actually was some, something planned, I will reward you. How can I explain it to you? One of our council members, Param, believes that Guard and Rico are not making decisions for the good of people. Now Guard and Rico are somewhat inflexible sometimes, but still, it is too strong a reproach by Perrin, who sometimes acts too hastily. However, since Perrin won't leave me alone, we've all to gotten together to discuss the matter. That didn't make the mood around here any better. Guard and Rico are stubborn and maintain that they cannot, they cannot and do not want to cooperate with Perrin any longer. They don't respect him, but he is really an honest man. And I'm not too sure about Garden Rico. In any case, I'd rather be on Perrin's side. If Garden Rico stay obstinate, we can no, no longer work together reasonably in the council. Well, we have to deal with the problem somehow. Alright, well, we've warned him. So now the world is a good place, and Harris will not die. And now I have to wander all the way back and talk to his friend. You may notice that uh, Rainer is dead. To be perfectly honest, I don't care anymore. Um, gotten some combats on the way there. People gained some levels. Rainer died in the first fight. I revived him. He died in the second fight. I didn't revive him. I decided that He's just gonna die. That's how it's gonna be. Why fight fate? Yes, please. Ah, full recovery. How wonderful. I don't think I've been at full for quite some time. Um, also, to be honest, Oh, sorry. Yeah, he's good. His spells are pretty good. I'm not gonna lie about that. I'm gonna make a save where I save a before I tell him to leave. Kuang to go away. I actually feel that another fighter would be better for my group. Um, their magic is already going to be good enough. I'm pretty sure that they do have to be a pair. Uh, I'm going to see if I can tell him to leave at all. What do you want, Tom? Um, what can you say about leave? I don't understand that, Tom. What do you have to say about go away? It's hard to deny that it was a mechanic Camulius. My path has separated from, from my former brothers, and you don't need to know any more, anything more about it. I prefer to keep my business to myself. Alright. Um, there's a residence around here that I want to go into. Now, this is that hotel. I'm gonna see if, in order to make people go away, you have to, uh go to where the other person is, like, have someone try to join your group. Because if that's how it is, 
then I can do that here too. This house, perhaps? Yes, there she is. If you're looking for reinforcements for your group, I hereby offer my assistance. It can be advantageous to have a warrior with you. I am not a master warrior, but I have gathered a lot of experience. In any case, I would like to join you. It doesn't matter to me where I go and what goals you pursue, as long as I can travel around the world, learn about new things, and exercise myself in battle. We'd like you to come with us. Good, I'll come with you. I believe your group is already lar is large enough already. Oh my god! I need to make him go away. Yes, cool. Can I not get rid of people at this point in the game? I think I can't get rid of people at this point in the game. Oh my god, I don't want to end up doing the whole fucking game all over again because of this. Okay, um, I'll be right back. I'm gonna go figure out how to get rid of people. So, I'll be back. Give me a moment. Okay, everybody. We're back. We can't get rid of him. It's not possible. Um, I don't know when you're able to start asking people to leave, but eventually you can. And he will not leave your party until the, until the area where I have to have him. So... Apparently, at some point in the game, it breaks off. You can start doing whatever you want in, like, any order. We're gonna do his area first. And by then, I will know if I want him in the party or not. I figure. So, let's go to the gates. There we go. Now I can leave. Actually, I have things to sell. Let's do some shopping, shall we? With the rest of this video here. For some reason, that one didn't mark. <coughs> oh my god. Why is it always so late? Why, I say why. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, maybe he'll become useful. I guess. I'll get to find out, so... Wow, he has, like, no room either, though. That's super annoying. Why does nobody have any room? Who am I supposed to... Oh, there was that lady I could sell things to over there, huh? Let's sell him the DS guy saver. He'll, he'll like that. Things are just so much money in this game. It's ridiculous. Ah! Why is the axe back? Did I never steal it? Oh well, whatever. Get out of the way. Oh my god, get out of the way, you annoying little brat. Alright, let's come over here and talk to you. You have the specific I would like to sell something page. Is an awesome page where I can just specifically sell things and I am going to make use of it. Oh, not take. I want to get rid of that. I don't want it around anymore. I don't want any of that around anymore. I feel like I'm getting gypped here. Not gonna lie, I do kind of feel that way. Oh well. Um, if I do end up doing grinding though, I'm gonna point out, just because I might end up doing some grinding, um, if I do, you can bet that it's gonna all be on bandits probably. <laughs> so I'll be money grinding at the same time. It sounds like a really good idea. So I'd like to wait for the point when I can finally start traveling the world freely. Because then... Then I can money grind. I actually don't know why I'm going to save the jewels, but I am. That sounds like a good idea to me. Right. I bought that, huh? I don't like you. Frickin' Rainer's alive again. I hate Rainer. 
can't wait for the point where I no longer have to have him. He's so bad. There's a Grandir down there, but I'm not going to bother with him. Alright, so when we come back, I will have wandered back to uh, the area I'm supposed to be. You know, good old whatchamacallit land. We'll talk to Melthus' friend for the text we've already seen. And then we will go wander over to the shrine, I'm pretty sure is what I'm supposed to do next. Because, I mean, what's-his-face goes barging over there, and I gotta go stop that, right? So... Alright. Finally, we have some kind of direction, and we kind of know what we're supposed to do. Apparently, I was supposed to just wander around and figure all that out. And I guess it wasn't timed. I lied about that. I could have been resting or doing whatever I wanted to as, money, as much as I wanted. It's just the big part comes in with you telling, telling him he's going to be assassinated before going and talking to Malthus's friend. Um, if you don't, well, it's as you saw, he dies. So, but yeah, that's, uh, I guess I'm almost there, huh? That's, that's how this part of the game works. You're supposed to just wander to this town, find Malthus's friend on accident, and then apparently decide, I'm gonna talk my way past this guy. And when you do that, you, uh, get into the little dungeon. You're supposed to do that little dungeon to get that piece of the document. And talk to What's-His-Face. And then I guess you're supposed to decide I'm gonna wander over to the Iska village and talk to people there. I don't know. I don't like this part of the game. I hope the rest of this game it doesn't turn out to be like that, because the first sections of the game were not like that. This feels very non-intuitive to me, so... Hopefully this doesn't happen too much more, or I'm just going to start walkthroughing this game, which is not what I wanted to have to do, so... I know, it seems like I've used it a lot, but I've only been using it for little things. I haven't been using it for directly, like, what I'm supposed to do. So, this is the first time I've had to use it for what the heck am I supposed to do. That's what's upsetting me, so... Anyways, when it happens, it happens. I'll see you then. Have a good one.